How about the reaction? And you guys played in the majors. You, you hear the cheers, you hear the boos. Fans have a right to what they want to do. We're, we're a little shocked that it was that extreme uh, that the national fans, now Philly fans, they get a bad rap, but the national fans came on strong there. Well, I was definitely took back by that. You didn't even hear a golf clap out there for him. <laughs> there was no mixture of any kind of sincerity for him. Um, I was shocked. He's a rookie of the year, six-time All-Star MVP. He made that team nationally relevant. Uh, they made multiple playoff appearances, and he, he, he played hard for that organization. So mm. I was a little taken back with the energy level and, and shocked that they just collectively all booed Adam for that long, that many reps. And it's going to be like that all season long. And to call him a traitor, listen, $300 million is a tough, tough to turn down when it's on the table like that. So I don't think it's fair to call him a traitor like that in that situation. Come on, Dontrell. The guy's in his prime. He's franchise player. He takes a contract basically an hour up the road. You know, they did a lot for Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper did a lot for them. But I expected the booze tonight because he's in his prime. He left on his own accord. They're not going to make it comfortable for you, especially in your own division. Everybody in that stadium will go an hour up the road if they gave $300 <laughs> that kind million. Of money. Yeah, yeah, that kind of money. Exactly. It's called chips with dip. So that's a tough situation. <laughs> and he also saw the way the Phillies were going in the direction that. So mm -hmm. maybe he just wanted to change. So it's nothing personal, but I, I really thought they would honor him a little bit better than that. But hey, yeah. all's fair in love. Well, they gave a video montage. I need a little more than a video. Well, I mean, MVP. I, it's, uh, they gave me a video. I ain't want no well, MVP. <laughs> it's uh, nothing personal. Personal, just business, and uh, $330 million worth of business. <laughs> is he a guy who will put the Phillies over the top? They contended last year, and we know they have other issues, but can he be that big of a difference maker? Because the Phillies just don't want to hang around with that kind of money. They want better results. He's never won a playoff series. I, I think he could be the guy because he takes pressure off the supporting cast, and you're already seeing the dividends of that. Everyone's taking their shots. You're seeing Franco, Real Muto, Hoskins, very comfortable in the lineup, and it forces teams to pitch to the collective. Mass and they understand that situation. You saw in spring training, they swung the bat well. They hit a lot of home runs. So I think with the ad of him taking the pressure off the rest of the team, he's going to be the focal point of booze everywhere because of the contract. So it's not just yeah, going to be Washington. Yeah. yeah, people are going to give their energy to him. I think he's going to be just fine. I think he's going to definitely get them to the postseason and go deep in the run. Well, I, I just think he made the right decision because Philly's building around him. He took a, 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 a I would say, a superstar-friendly contract for Philly. <laughs> They got, they got McCutcheon, yeah. they got Segura, they got the guys that you mentioned. They got a lineup that's very length, with a very long length. They got Franco hit out of the eight hole. This team's going to be there all year long. It all comes out of pitching for the Philadelphia Phillies. Absolutely. Phillies. Tied for the most ever by a starting staff in a season's first five games, but now you can tack on another one. That's a dozen with uh, sales struggling here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned. I'm a, I agree a thousand percent, Big Hurt. If it's one thing for him to be getting beat, mm -hmm. uh, throwing 95, 97 miles an hour, he's throwing 88 to 89. That's very concerning of his velocity. It was showing fatigue. He didn't really have a, a, a deep spring training to get feel and really get stretched out. So I'm definitely individually concerned about Chris Sale and just how he feels mm -hmm. moving forward in the season. I've watched, watched him pitch for years. 89 is not going to get it done for right. him because that 94, 95 mile per hour fastball with that electric breaking ball makes him almost unhittable. So something's going on with him right now. He could be a little burned out with an extra month and a half pitching in the playoffs and the World Series, but uh, he'll be back. These yeah. guys, these uh, guys are pros. Last year he was up around 95. Uh, so, yes. but, so you think, that, uh, what we call it a World Series hangover, but you pitch those extra weeks, those extra mm -hmm. innings, that does have a, an effect when you start the next season. Absolutely, yeah. When we won the World Series, I only had a month off until I had to get back to working out, back on the mound after December. January goes like that, and then you're back in the spring training, and he didn't get a full spring training, so I'm a little concerned, but the velocity needs to come back. You can get beat all over the field, but they're going to look at this tape and be worried about his velocity being down so far. Yeah, so not just for sale, but you got Rodriguez, Porcello, we saw Price the previous night, Avaldi is, is that... Uh, wearing on all of them, but you're not not concerned long term. That's it, a good staff. It, it's not. That's a good staff, and their velocity has been fine except Sale. He's the one. Okay. He's the callus. They all have to play off Sale because he's the one guy in that rotation that can go up against anybody's ace and win that ball game for you, which takes pressure off the rest of the rotation. Everybody else's velocity seems to be fine. They're just missing in spots and not uh, being able to follow the glove. But Sale needs to get his strength back quickly. And it's the first time Chris Sale has gone this deep in the playoffs too. So. It's a new feel for him. They're going to have to use Johnny's staff. They're going to have to bring some guys up, maybe give a couple of phantom DLs, get these guys some rest, but they'll be back in due time. Mm -hmm.